All right, good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, and welcome to Hudson Fields, where we have uh, Hazen Union Wildcats and Northfield Marauders ready for a game. Thankfully, the sun is out. It's a beautiful morning. We have Jamin Reno with us today. How you doing, Jamin? Good morning, Mike. I'm doing good. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, this is the first game of the year that I get to watch these guys play, so I'm kind of excited. Yeah, they, they've been playing well this year. Um, the hitting's been gradually been getting better. Um, Hazen had a really good win over Peoples their last game, 4-1, to one, in that battle of um, the Division Three championship game last year. So it was good with Hazen coming out on top. They have a 3-0 and record coming in, and Northfield is 1-2 um, and two on the season, also playing three games today. So... So, again, Hazen coming off a good win against Peoples. And um, today for the Wildcats, they have Andrew Menard starting on the mound. And really quickly for Northfield, um, at first base leadoff is Travis Robillard. Um, next up is Nick Amaruno, right fielder, followed by Camden Allen. Their shortstop, Jameson Preston, is pitching. Landon Amel is catching. Charlie Fitzpatrick center field. Dalen Austin at third base. Kane Knapp at second. And followed by Brady Knapp in left field. And again, um, for the Wildcats, we have um, Andrew Menard on the mound. Andrew pitched some earlier this year. And normal thing from Andrew is he's always throwing strikes. And for the Wildcats, Defensively, Jake Davison as a, is at first base, Brendan Moody at second, Tyler Rivard, third base, Lyle Rooney at third, and um, catching is James Montgomery in the outfield and right field, Jacob Hayden, Jaden Baker in center field, and left field is Dan DeGrosier. So, Jamin, great day for a game. I'm glad we're going to get it in before the rain today. Yeah, uh, I was worried it was going to be raining earlier, but it uh, looks like it's going to hold off, so it should be good. We were saying earlier that Hazen's first game, it was like 80 degrees and sunny, but boy, it's cooled off since then, that's for sure. Yeah, summer may be over already. <laughs> Comes quick here in the, uh, in, the, in the north. Oh, for sure. And, and really quickly before batter steps in, um, Again, you're watching HCTV channel 1080 www.hctv.us and today's game is sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. And stepping in now is first baseman Travis Robillard against Andrew Menard. These papers are blowing around, Jamin. It's <laughs> a little windy to start. A little windy. And Menard starts with a strike. This wind swirling around is going to make it a challenging day on pop-ups and fly balls to the outfield. And it kind of feels like it's blowing in right now. Yeah, it is blowing in, but uh, Andrew, two strikes now. And a little off-speed pitch there, and good start from Menard. I uh, enjoy seeing pitchers throw strikes. This is good. And Andrew has al always, even since Little League, been really throwing well as far as, as far as throwing strikes. He's very consistent. And this is Nick Amaruno, and the right fielder for Northfield. And again, Northfield's coming in at one and two. Um, last game against Blue Mountain. Yeah, Menard comes back with a strike. He doesn't waste a lot of time either on the mound. He gets the ball back to the catcher real quick. Here we go. And ball up. And that's so good to see. It makes the game go quicker, a better pace, and it's much better for his, out, or his fielders, I would think. Yeah, it's not so boring. And good pitch by Menard. 
Andrew has to be fun to play back, uh, play behind because he does throw strikes. You got to be ready. You know they're going to put the ball in play. Absolutely. And a good job by Amaruno fighting that tough pitch off by Menard. Count even at two and two. And what were they calling there, Jamie? And I kind of. I'm Missed wondering it. if uh, if a bat hit the catcher's glove on the swing. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of too is yeah, some catcher's interference. So yeah. Amaruno reaches and shortstop Carter Allen is now up. And Andrew making sure he's not getting too big of a lead over at first base. Not seeing Northfield this year. It'll be interesting to see if they're ag aggressive on the bases. James Montgomery for Hazen has a good arm back there, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, Montgomery is a solid catcher for sure. Good pitch by Menard to go ahead. It looks like, like this point, Jamin, that runner at first base isn't looking to go right now. We'll see, see what happens. Yeah, an 0 2 count's really not the, not the count to go on, anyways. I'd more or less see him. Boy. Probably think about running now with a with a two two count. Yes, yep. That pitch looking pretty good by Menard there. Must have just missed. Another one just missing. Yeah. It's gotta be a little outside. Yeah, yep. And we'll see if the runner's off with a full count here. Only one out. And good pitch by Menard. Not happy with the call, but got to protect with two. Yeah. Good strike. we a good good start from Menard. Going ahead, 0-1. Yeah, I agree with that, Jamin. Anything close with two strikes, you've got to look to protect. And Menard quickly ahead, 0-2. going a little bit up there, seeing if, um, seeing if um, he would take a swing at that. Yeah, it was a good waste pitch. Oop. Runners off, no throw. On the wild pitch. All right. Now runner in scoring position here for Jamison, who's pitching, um, could help himself out here with a runner hit. Runner goes again. And stolen base for oh, Amber. Strike three. So Menard strikes out the side and allows one base runner on that catcher's interference. And a quick reminder, you are watching HCTV channel 1080 www.hctv.us. And again, this game is sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, uh, GM tcc.insd.org jumpstart your future and add-on applications are now available for any GMTCC programs and there's a whole list of about 10 or 15 things here and definitely a good program 
there. So Jamin, we'll see if Hazen can get off to a good start here and get some early runs. Yeah, help out, uh, help out Menard on the mound. And to start the bottom of the first inning, we have Jaden Baker, the Wildcats center fielder. And uh, Jaden looking to get on base here to, to give Revard a chance who's on deck next. Like I said in the pregame, Mike, I'm, uh, I'm really excited to see this team play. Uh, it's, it's funny that these kids are all seniors now. I remember uh, seeing just like yesterday, minor league baseball over at the elementary school, little league, Babe Ruth. This is a, this is a special time right here. And a curveball in for the strike. Yeah, it goes by, as a parent of a senior, it, it goes by way fast, way fast. And, oh, and the ball is uh, out of play too. So Jaden with pretty good speed getting down the first baseline, beating that out and the throw going out of play, getting to second base. And up here is up now is um, Tyler Revard to shortstop. Tyler's been hot of late and Hazen has good speed on the bases here. So it'll be interesting to see um, what's going to happen here. That was a rip by Revard. He caught yeah. that one. <laughs> Tyler's always had a good bat. Quick hands. Yes. Sees the ball very well. Uh, sometimes I think he's a little too uh, too aggressive, maybe, he, you could say. Boy, he took a cut at that one, that's for sure. And that pitch in the dirt, and Baker down to third base. Yeah, he hit one here the last game over the left fielder's head, kind of back into the leaves there. He caught that one. But he does a much better job when he's, you know, kind of swinging within, within himself and not trying to blast it. But Good swing by Revard. Tyler had a great basketball season this year. I think he's the only Hazen player to have a thousand points and a thousand rebounds in his career. Yeah, uh, there's only a handful in the state that have done that, I believe. Anything in play here should get uh, should get Jaden home. And. That one hitting Revard, it looked like up on the elbow. So he'll go to first. So we and got what, runners on first and first and third. I assume Revard's gonna go here on the first pitch. And James Montgomery hitting. James has been hot lately also, swinging a good bat. James is catching today. Yeah, he's off. And as you said, Revard was off right on the first pitch. Yeah, and you know you, you got to go with runner on you know first and third. Yeah, there he goes now. Oh, foul ball. And it's almost like he was trying to uh, get the pitcher to balk while leaving so early. Yeah, it really looked like he was yeah. doing that. He was almost at second base by the time. Um, Pitcher delivered here, and Montgomery's down 0 and 2. And again, we'll see Revard off. Oh, there it is, base hit. Could be more in the gap.
Rivard scoring easily from first by taking off on the pitch. Yeah, that was one of those things. I don't know if, he, if he's not off on it. I don't think he scores, but like you said, Jamin being off on that pitch helped a lot. So Hazen takes a 2-0 lead with Baker and Rivard scoring. Montgomery with that gap shot is now at second base and third baseman Lyle Rooney at the batting. This is gonna be a tough play for the shortstop with Rooney digging down, nice play. Good heads up, good heads up play run by uh, Montgomery there. Waiting for the throw. Yeah, and Hazen tends to be really aggressive on the bases. I, they're definitely well coached as far as base running is concerned. They are always ready to take the extra base. And Andrew Menard, who was pitching today, now up in the Wildcats, take a 3-0 lead. Top of Hazen's lineup, Jamin, really has good speed. They sure do, Mike. And Andrew Menard's up. Andrew's playing some really solid third base. Um, the people's game the other day, he's made some really, really good plays over there. Yeah, Andrew's always been a been a tough, tough, tough nosed ball player for sure. Another hit for the Wildcats. Yeah, that was a tough play for their shortstop deep in the hole. Menard hustling down the line. And. Menard pitching today is um, going out. Um, courtesy running is Owen Skorstad, number four, a freshman. So Andrew will get to get a breather here instead of running, and Owen with some good speed on first base. And Dan DeGrosliere up playing left field. And score stat off, and a quick, quick check at first base. This might be a little tricky in the wind, Jamin. Yeah. Well, good, good, good catch. Good buddy. play by the left fielder. Yeah, Brady Knapp with that catch. It's tough up there today with this wind. Yeah, it looked like he was struggling a, struggling a bit at first, but he, he ended up tracking it down, making a nice catch. And Jake Davison steps in. And taking a strike. Looking at a little off-speed pitch there. Had him, uh, had him guessing. Yeah. Back. Preston trying to get out of the inning without more damage here. We've had a pretty decent crowd that's filled in here today. Calls time. 
been really interesting this year watching the major leagues, seeing the change in pace with the 22nd clock. <laughs> right. And good job by Davison laying off the high one. There's also the uh, pitcher can only throw over to first so many times. Oh, also. yeah, it's amazing what, what that stuff can do to speed games up. Oh, good rip by Jake up the middle. Yep, kept his hands back nice. Put a good swing on it, get good results. Yeah, like you said, he really stayed with the pitch there. And um, Number 10, Jake Hayden's up. Jake's playing right field today. Couple runners on base here, a couple ducks on the pond. And another nice off-speed pitch there. And curveball didn't quite curve there, Jamin. No, it didn't look like uh, didn't look like Jake was going to move much to get out of the way of it. No, nope. so, uh, no. Nope. Kind of a smart play by Jake there. Wearing it as a Hazen, Hazen yeah. team says, <laughs> getting to first base. Now the base is loaded for Brendan Moody. Brendan is playing second base today. This is a ninth batter in the inning for the Wildcats. And a hit here by Moody could really open things up. That's ah, going to be tough a tough one. play for yeah. first baseman. Oh, great catch. Yep. Yep, first baseman doing a great job staying with that. And after one, it's Hazen three. Northfield Zero, and again, you're watching HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us, sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, gmtcc.insd.org. Jumpstart your f future. Applications are now available for any GMTC programs. And we're back on here now as number 12, Landon Amel steps in, who's catching um, against Andrew Menard. And again, Menard and the Wildcats with a 3-0 lead. I'm sure uh, Spencer's happy with uh, the quick lead for his yeah. ball club. Yeah, it's nice to get that cushion. And Menard with another nice pitch there. Yeah, he's on top quickly, 0-2. Come on, kids. Up with two, Yeah, good pitch by Menard. Good 0-2 pitch. And Amel trying to get on base here to start things up for the Marauders. And good high heat there from Menard. Yeah. Andrew's throwing very well so far at the beginning of the game here. Four strikeouts. Four now, strikeouts, believe, right? yes. And number 17, Charlie Fitzpatrick, center fielder for Northfield today. And Andrew really seemed to be locked in here this inning, Jamin, throwing strikes. Yeah, the, the Marauders are going to quickly find out that he's going to have to get the bat swinging. There's not going to be a lot of walks today. No, the, nope. And Menard ahead in the count 0-2 here. See if he goes off speed or comes with some high heat. Right, 
Fried one up on 0-2. Good take from the batter. And breakout number five for Menard. Yeah. And Dylan, Dalen Austin at the plate. Number 14 is playing third base. And that misses low. That one's sent over by the Hazen dugout. Good thing uh, Dorothy's in the dugout. Yeah. There. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was close. That was close. <laughs> she does a great job with that, that's for sure. She sure does. And the count is 1 2 now. Andrew trying a high one there. Count evens at two and two. Just kind of a little overthrowing a bit too much, I think. Yeah. Yep. And really good at bat by Dalen Austin to draw a walk there. I think he was down 0 and 2 and came back to walk there. Kane Knapp, the second baseman, steps in. And one and oh, the count now. Pitch by Menard. One and one. And one and two. Menard getting the swing on the high strike. Hoping to strike out the side here. And he does. So that's strikeout number six for Menard. So they one walk. That was it. One base runner, one walk. 3 0 after one and a half. And this game is coming to you from HCTV channel 1080. We're back here at Hudson Fields for the bottom of the second inning. Um, Jaden Baker is leading off again this inning. Um, Jaden. Had an infield hit in the first inning, got the second on a wild throw and scored on a James Montgomery gap, gap shot. So again, Jaden trying to get on to get a base runner to start the inning. Base hit right up the middle. Hazen starting out very aggressive with the bats. Like you had said earlier, Mike, that they're aggressive ball club anyways, not only on the base pass, but I would say with the bats also. They are swinging in the first pitch there. And Revard up, Tyler was hit by a pitch his first time up. I assume Jaden's gonna be going here with his speed. Oh, dead ball. Second time he's hit Revard tonight, or excuse me, this morning. Yeah. And you know, Tyler likes being on base, but you know he'd rather be taking swings out there. Yeah. And first and second for the Wildcats with Revard and Baker there. There's always a potential for a double steal. Um, Montgomery up. J James ripped one to the right center field gap and drove in two his first time up. And there is a double steal. Throw goes to third. It's Baker's in, thrown away. Play He's trying play. to score, and good hustle by Baker and Revart. Back up, back up. 
And again, the Wildcats continue to be aggressive on the bases. And Wildcats take the lead four to zero. Montgomery still up, who really had a nice hit his first time up. I have a feeling he's looking in that same spot. He is. He sees that center fielder and right fielder. And a huge gap there. Pass ball. Rebard scores. Is the ball one out of play? Like you were saying, Jamin, that's a big gap out there in right center field. Good spot for him to drive one in again. His hands back on that off speed pitch. Yeah, Montgomery's really been swinging the bat well the last few games. He is sure locked in today. Or, excuse me, again, this morning. Yeah, he sure is. Lyle Rooney is now up. Lyle grounded out his first time, but did drive a run in. Again, Hayes and aggressive on the bases right away, and James stealing second. Easy stolen base for James. And Rooney has one in scoring position here. And good eye by Rooney. See what James will be doing at second base if he's going to be off anytime soon or. Lyle had a great game over at Peoples pitching. He pitched really well over there. Here comes the pitch. And kind of swung it a high one there. Good swing by Rooney, just not quite getting it. And Andrew Menard up again. Andrew reached on an infield hit to deep shortstop and trying to look to drive Montgomery in here. James on the easy stolen base again. Good jump there at uh, on the pitch to the plate. And see what Menard can do here with a runner at third base. job laying off the high one. Feels like it's getting colder as the days go in gym and not getting warmer here. I think you're right. I'm gonna have to get another layer on. Sir. That was almost hit in the same place he hit it last time. Sure was. Another base hit for Menard. So he's gonna have his courtesy runner come on for him. 
Montgomery scoring on that. And Scorstad back into run. And Hazen takes a six to zero lead. Good start by the Wildcats here, jumping out early. One out, runner on first. See if they can get it going again here. Dan hit one pretty well the first time up, but a nice catch by the left fielder out there who stayed with it with the uh, windy conditions. Quicker delivery by the pitcher that time. That was almost hit, that one. Uh, yeah. Caught Dan a little off guard. I think that was the first time he's done that today, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I agree. Runner goes. And well done by Scorstad getting into scoring position. Another easy stolen base for the Wildcats. I'd say that's one of Hazen's strengths this year is they're aggressive on the back, ba the back bases. They have some good speed. That, that, that could be trouble. Uh, kind of slicing back to the right fielder who yeah, makes the catch. Tagging at second. No throw to third. Easy sacrifice for the ghost layer. Yeah, nice job moving the runner along. That one looked like it could be trouble, but it kind of sliced right over yeah, to where the right fielder was. Wind blew it right into his glove. Yeah. I had to slice like my driver on some <laughs> days. That... And Jake Davison up. Jake had a nice hit to center field his first time. the junior playing first base today. And a big swing by Davison. Oh. Ooh, they, yeah, they got him. They got him. Good pickoff play by Preston. Um, they got Scorstad leaning there. And after two, it's six nothing Hazen. And this game today, you're watching, is courtesy of HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. Sponsored by Buffalo Mountains Power Sports 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. GMTCC, gmtcc.insd.org, jumpstart your future. Applications are available for any GMTCC program now that include allied health, automotive technology, business administration, computer networking technology, construction technology, cooperative education, creative media, art and design, culinary arts, electrical tech, exploratory pre-tech, forestry and land management, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and sustainable ag agriculture and food system. That's a lot of programs. It sure is. Uh, tech Center is a great place. It's benefited a lot of these, these kids here from Hazen for sure. Yeah, definitely a lot of success stories from students who've gone there. And for Northfield, number 10, Brady Knapp, the left fielder, steps in. Brady made a nice catch earlier. Um, Andrew Menard's got six strikeouts over two innings here. And a 
Big swing by Nath there. One and one count. I'm sure Northfield would like to try to get something started here. Maybe get a couple base runners on, put a little pressure on Menard. Yeah, you know, they've had a runner in the first two innings, but haven't got past first base. Putting some swings on him, but can't connect. Another strikeout for Andrew. Number seven on the day. And back to the top of the order with Travis Robillard, the first baseman who struck out his first time. Northfield's taking some big swings down, down there. Was pretty well hit, but right yeah. at Brendan Moody. A weak line drive. Moody right in position. Good play. Yeah, really didn't have to move much for that one. I think that was the first contact made, putting the ball in play. So, Bernard's really doing a really good job today. Yeah, and as a pitcher, you know, when you've got defense behind you, like Andrew does tonight, uh, this morning, you know, he can just get up there, throw strikes, and know if they, they do put the ball in play. He's got good fielders, good outfielders. It's a good feeling as a pitcher, for sure. That's, that's always what I needed when I pitched, because I wasn't overpowering. So I threw strikes and I needed defense behind me. Yeah, and I think really that is one of Hazen's um, uh, really good points this year is they are a good defensive team, solid all around. A good job by Amaruno getting a piece there. He was on base earlier today um, on a catcher's interference call. Oh, he's putting up a good fight there. Looked like something Menard, a little off speed that Menard threw there and Amaruno able to get a piece. And missing down. What other position did you play back in the day, Jamin? <laughs> uh, or positions? First, a little bit of shortstop. Nice. Oh. And drop third strike. No problem for uh, Montgomery on that one. Not a lot of hustle from the batter, but uh, Andrew will take it. And after two and a half, it's six to nothing, Hazen. All right. Hazen will start the bottom of the third with Jake Davison. Jake, Jake's had a good couple, good at bats, two singles to center field. And gets ahead in the count one and all. Yep, Jake's leading off this inning after uh, 
After Owen, is it Owen? Yeah, after Owen got picked off there at third base. And, you know, Owen getting picked off, he's a freshman, you know, just kind of, that, that usually happens to every freshman at yeah, one point. Uh, caught sleeping over there a little bit, happens. Oh. Another nice hit by uh, Davison. And that's three right up the middle for him. He's. Two. Two up the middle for him. <laughs> Two, couldn't, couldn't three. Read my own, couldn't read yeah. my own writing there. Maybe he'll get a third, <laughs> third one his next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, Jamin, that, I, that it's so cold. My writing's messy. It's, that, oh, that's that, my that, excuse. That I gotta have is, yeah. uh, some sort of excuse with this. Jake Hayden with a the swing there, and. Ball getting by the catcher and down to second base. Jake Davison. And Hayden was hit by a pitch the first time, stayed in there. And got to get to first base. Good swing by Jake. And Jake Davison in scoring position over there at second base. Hayden will get his swings in for sure. Yep. I remember coaching him in Little League. Uh. He was not <laughs> afraid to swing the bat. <laughs> and, and good cut by Jake on that one, just missing. And here is Brendan Moody who popped out his first time. Brendan also had a good basketball uh, year. He did. He's a Hayes in his first year. Oh, unlucky there. Line drive right to the second baseman. Yeah, he Brendan hit that one hard. Um, yeah, he did. He really good three point shooter. That's first, for sure. His first year as a uh, Wildcat, and I think he fit fits right in for sure here. He definitely. And Jaden Baker. Up again, the leadoff hitter who has got an infield hit, single to center, big cut there. Uh, he's looking at that gap too out in right center. See if he can put a little inside out swing on this. And Jaden and Tyler. Um, Two of the four sport athletes at Hazen playing soccer, basketball, baseball, and golf. Yeah. They will, uh, both of them are, will be truly missed for sure. They've had some really, they've had really good careers here at Hazen. And Baker down in the coat, Cal 0 and 2. And swings and comes up empty with a curve ball. Three quick strikes there. And after three, it's six to zero. Hazen. And you're watching this game on HCTV channel 1080, www.hctv. Dot US sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. GMTCC, GMTCC.insd.org. Jumpstart your future and applications are now available for any GMTCC programs. And uh, here we go. Top of the fourth. Michael was uh, busy putting his jacket on as the temperature <laughs> seems to be oh, dropping man. quickly here in Hardwick. Man, it's brutal. I was just saying, keeping these headsets on are nice, keeping my ears warm. And 
Carter Allen up to shortstop and Menard quickly ahead, 0-1. We may have had our summer already, Jamin. That nice four or five days a couple weeks ago. I, I sure hope not, but <laughs> stranger things have happened. Yeah. Another good pitch from Menard. And another strikeout. Nine. Nine on the game. Yeah. And Jamison Preston up. Pitcher trying to help his own cause here and get on base to start the inning. Just missing. Must have been a little outside. Menard's doing a good job. Most batters, he's been ahead in the count. And that's what you want. I mean, that's what Spencer wants from his pitchers. I, have, you know, or as a coach, that's what you want. Get ahead, throw strikes, game goes by. Yeah, that's definitely huge to be able to do that. That's for sure. Man, a good pitch from Menard. And a good job by Preston battling with two strikes. And nice curveball from Menard there for strikeout number 10. And the catcher, Landon Amel, up, who struck out his first time out. I don't know, Jamin, even my hands are cold here, trying to write down stuff on the clipboard. Yeah, the wind could stop. I don't think it's going to, but <laughs> it could stop at any time. That was a big swing by Amel. Menard up in the count again. Another strikeout from Menard. So after three and a half, it's 6-0, Hazen. Some excitement there in your, in your voice, Mike. <laughs> And Tyler Rivard leads off here. And Tyler's been hit by pitches twice. Jamin, I'm sure he wants to get some cuts in here. Yeah, knowing Tyler, uh, he feels probably he's been cheated the last couple at bats. Yes. And that just misses inside. And Jamison Preston back on the mound for Northfield. And Rivard digs in, ahead in the count 1-0. <clears throat> Not sure what that was. Tyler. 
Yeah, some sort of discussion going on down there, but in the end, the count's still 1-0 here. On that last pitch, the uh, umpire might have been, you know, had the time, and the pitcher went, you know, the pitcher delivered the ball uh, before the umpire was ready. You got to hold that. Be over the left fielder's head. And good double by Revart. Hit out, hit out there well. Good job by the left fielder tracking it down. You know, Revard would have liked to have gone three on that one. But nice line drive, well hit. And James Montgomery up, who's doubled and single today. Yep, the easy stand-up double by Rebard. Got his arms extended. Yeah, hit that one really well. Right. Oh, another good swing. Yeah. Hook yeah. foul. Yep, like you said, good swing by Montgomery. Just a little bit ahead of that one. So that last hit by Rivard, the uh, left fielder's backed up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> for Northfield. <laughs> it's not going to let that happen again. Good block by the catcher there. Amel doing a good job keeping it in front of him to keep Rivard from going to third on that one. Rivard off. Foul ball. I'm sure Hazen's going to continue to be aggressive on the bases here as much as they can. And James up here looking for a third hit of the day. Uh, uh, that was a nice off-speed pitch there. Got him off balance. Montgomery was sitting on the uh, on the fastball on that, for sure. He was. He was looking to drive that yeah. fastball. Here's Lyle Rooney, and Lyle had an RBI earlier in the game. Rivard off third, in there easily. And pretty nice play by their third baseman there to keep it from going into left field. And nice job by Tyler getting over to third base. And Rebard hustling in to make it seven nothing. Good anticipation, the ball, you know, with a short backstop here at Hazen. You know, he anticipated that well, had a good had a good secondary lead. He walks into uh, walks into home. Like you said, Jamin, it's not always easy to get in on wild pitches and pass balls here because that backstop is pretty short. And one ball and two strikes here.
and foul over there and it's one and two. Rooney looking to straighten one out here and drive one. And Lyles pitched well this year, Jamin. He's not been in there today, but he's throwing the ball really well on the mound. He's always impressed me uh, pitching. There again, going back to Little League. Yes. He's always throwing the ball very well. It's fun to watch. And tough play for the first baseman. Oh, oh nice attempt. Good attempt by Robillard over there. Over by the dugout, had the wind blowing, the dugout coming into play, the out of play line. A lot going on over there, you got a glove on it. Good try. Everything going against him. <laughs> Just missing. A little bit inside. Full count here. Well, down, uh, down in the strike zone, he's worked it to a full count. Yeah, nice at bat by Rooney. And Andrew Menard is up. Oh, Andrew's time. hit two of the same place for first two at bats. The timeout here looks like the uh, Marauders are going to talk it over. Maybe a little pitching change. And while they're doing that, um, quick reminder you are watching HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. This game sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports 472 5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, gmtcc.insd.org, jumpstart your future. And the applications are now available for any GMTCC programs, which include Allied Health, Automotive Tech, Business Administration, Computer Networking, Construction Tech, Cooperative Education, Creative Media and Art Design, Culinary Arts, Electrical Tech, exploratory pre-tech, forestry and land management, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and sustainable agriculture and food system. So I was reading from the list here, Jamin, for the sponsors. Do we have a new pitcher here? Uh, yeah, number 17. And that would be Charlie Fitzpatrick. I believe it was their center fielder. And... Fitzpatrick coming in with Rooney at first base. One out and Northfield trailing seven to nothing. And that was a good effort out there by Preston. He did a nice job on the mound, worked really hard. Um, Hazen um, doing a good job getting on base today though. Looks like Northfield's moved their, uh, their shortstop. Carter Allen out to center field. And not sure if Preston's now at short. Yes, that's what it looks like from here. So yeah, a lot of changes for Northfield right now. And in comes Andrew Menard. So as we were saying, Northfield has a new pitcher. Uh, their center fielder, or starting center fielder. And yep. Charles Fitzpatrick is now pitching. And Rooney wastes no time there in stealing second base. 
it's kind of hard your first pitch as a pitcher you're thinking about wanting to throw a strike and not necessarily thinking of the base runner when it's your first pitch of the game and it's always an uncomfortable feeling coming into a game with a base runner on you got to start from the stretch uh, assuming he's one of their starting pick pitchers also so used to starting the game you know in the warm up have your normal normal warm up routine everything kind of gets hurried a little bit and a strike to Menard. Menard has his first two time up, two times up. He's hit grounders to deep short and managed to reach first base on both of them. Last one he had RBI. That one on in on Menard's hands. He fights it off. So Fitzpatrick is up in the count. One and two here. And Andrew looking to drive in Rooney, who's at second base. And Andrew looked like he was on that one pretty good, fouling it straight back. And Rooney getting a big lead over there. That one high and in to Menard, ducking out of the way. And a 2 2 count. And a high fly ball to center field. The wind's going to blow this one around. Rooney tagging, no need to tag. Ball drops in. I think that was the. Uh the win, Michael. That yeah. You were talking about this morning. Yeah. Normally that would be one that's caught pretty easily, but it dropped a good, probably eight or ten feet in front of the center fielder. It looked like wind knocking it down and blowing it to the right. So Menard on base. So we got a substitution here. And this looks like. Gavin, Gavin uh, Stratton, maybe? Alex Boley, no. Alex Boley. So, uh, Menard looks like he's staying on first base, so I don't know if that's an indication that there may be another pitcher going in next inning for Hazen, or if um, they're letting him, just letting him run this time. And, Menard steals second. Boley is a freshman. Um, he got his first um, career varsity hit last Saturday. And a nice pitch on the corner. Back off the catcher. Look like it. Look like it hurts for a minute down Hello, there. Stinger. Doesn't help when it's cold out either. Everything feels worse. Umpire taking his time, letting the catcher shake it off for a minute. And Alex steps back in. And strike three call there. Jake Davison steps in, who's had two hits to center field. Yeah, Davison had, had two nice hits today. Another one. It's another one up the middle to center field. It, good chance it scores, scores both guys here. Yeah, with two outs, the runners will be going on contact. 
two big swings by Davison. And now he'll have to look to protect here. Third strike, drop third strike. And good play by the catcher. And after four, Hazen leads seven nothing and good job by Fitzpatrick coming in that inning. And Charlie Fitzpatrick steps in against Menard. Charlie has is now pitching. He struck out his last at bat. And I believe that's Menard struck out 11 so far. And Spencer Howard out talking to the umpire about changes that have been made. Yeah. And trying to see where those are. So it looks like DeGrosier is still, he got hit for last inning, but it looks like he's still out in left field. Looks like that might be Skorstad out there in right field instead of Hayden. That is probably the change that was made. And a good swing by Fitzpatrick. Coming in over Fitzpatrick's head there. And good hustle by Joe Rivard to get that loose ball. Hazen with a really good and experienced coaching staff over there. And Joe still with a little speed hustling over to get that. And Fitzpatrick drawing a walk, a no out base runner here. That, kind of like what you were talking about earlier, Jamin Northfield trying to get something started, trying to find a way. And a good swing by Dalen Austin, third baseman. He reached base his last time with a walk. Fitzpatrick with a pretty hefty lead over there. It's a good check by Menard. Yeah, I don't know. Normally you wouldn't go down seven to nothing, but I don't. We'll see what he's thinking over there. And there he does go. Yeah. And that's oh. kind of good throw by Montgomery. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of times you don't see guys going down. He kind of stopped halfway. I wonder if he thought maybe the umpire called foul. Because he had a. Uh, walking lead. Menard didn't even stop him. So, And a nice throw by James down there. James yeah. with a really good arm behind the plate. So that erases Northfield's base runner. Menard pitches again, missing high. And the count goes to two and two. And a full count here. And again, um, Dalen's already reached with a walk his first time at bat. 
and a good pitch by Menard for another strikeout. And for Andrew, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve strikeouts. And yeah, not a not a bad day on the mound. Not a not a bad day. And Kane Knapp up. And Nap ahead, 2-0. and all. Unlike Menard falling behind in the count, but comes back with a good strike. Yeah, batter kind of stepping toward third base on that swing. Just missing on that one. Good pitch by Menard. <laughs> and another strikeout. Yes, sir. No so runs, no hits. One runner. And we go to the bottom of the fifth with the Hazen Wildcats leading seven to nothing. And quick word about our sponsors, HCTV Channel 1080, um, www.hctv.us, sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Tech and Career Center, GMTCC, GMTCC. GMTCC.insd.org. <laughs> jump, jump start your future. Too bad there wasn't like a broadcasting program. Maybe that would have <laughs> yeah, maybe help, that would have helped us a little bit. Out, I think. <laughs> and back here at Hudson Field, Fitzpatrick finishing his warm up pitches. Who came in last inning and pitched a solid inning, and it looks like Owen Scorstad is up to bat. And this is, Owen's played some today, being a pinch runner a couple times for Menard, but this is his first at bat. He is a freshman. And this one is trouble. And good hustle by Scorstad when the pitcher couldn't come up with it. It was kind of no man's land. And with Scorstad's speed, he was able to beat it out. A little infield hit. And Brendan Moody stepping in. Brendan hit it hard last time, but right at the second baseman, he squares. Catcher can't fi find it. Oops. Going to third now. And two bases on that for Scorstad. That was a tough one for the catcher. He couldn't find it. and He didn't seem to get a lot of help um, from teammates and helping him no. locate that. Didn't know which way it went. He, was, he wasn't getting any help either from the uh, Wildcats over there. No. <laughs> And a high pop-up could be trouble with the wind, but the short stop under it. Ooh, and a little snow cone catch there. Yeah, good, good catch at second or at short. And Baker steps in. He's two for three on the day. Infield hit, single to center, and struck out his last time. Down 0 and 1. Like to get Scorstad in here. And the 
count goes to one and one. Grounded to short, but Baker does get the runner in for an RBI. And Hazen takes an 8 0 lead. Good play by the shortstop. And Tyler Revard up. He's been hit by pitches twice and really hit it hard the last time a double over the left fielder's head. And that one misses low. So Hazen does a lot of the little things well. Stolen base, good hustle by the by score stat to get the extra one and a in contact to get the guy home. So nothing spectacular there, but they were able to create a run. Yep, good heads up base running too, or else he'd have been on second and yeah. you know, wouldn't have been a run. Yep. All right, now the wind's really picking up. This is nice. <laughs> no, I'm tempted to go get my um, gloves out of my truck. 3-0 here. I'm sure Revard probably has a green light and will be swinging if he likes it. And that one's low and Revard to first base. And Montgomery up. James has a couple hits today, a couple RBIs. My guess is Revard's gonna be looking to go early here. He's off. That's gonna be trouble for the shortstop. Yeah, good play, yeah. but nothing he could do with it. Ball well struck, another infield hit for the Wildcats. And so there is a 10 run rule that might come into effect. It's a 10 run lead after five. So there, there could be potential for that. But there is two outs in the inning already. Double steal. Don't throw from the catcher. Now a hit from Rooney will likely score two. He walked his last time at bat. And that ball is out of play and allow, that allows Revard to score. Unlucky on that one. Yeah. For North Country. Yeah. I mean, excuse me, for Northfield. Yeah, yep. And that one looks like it's trouble. Yeah. Another infield hit, RBI for Rooney. And 10 nothing Wildcats. That is gonna do it with the 10 run rule. And on this cold blustery Saturday morning, the Wildcats um, win this one Man. 10 to nothing. Andrew, Great. Uh, Andrew throwing yeah. a no hitter. And with 13 strikeouts. 13 strikeouts, Great. no hitter, five innings. Great effort by Menard. So Jamin, it's been fun. Yeah. Has Mike? No, I'll, I'll do it again with you if I'm uh, if, I, if I'm available. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe it'll be a little warmer next time. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. So again, the final from Hudson's Fields, 10 nothing Hazen. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.